May 6th. Liberty on the abyss of the gospel. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. Galatians 5.1 A spiritually minded man will never come to you with the demand, Believe this and that, but with the demand that you square your life with the standards of Jesus. We are not asked to believe the Bible, but to believe the one whom the Bible reveals. John 5.39-40 We are called to present the liberty of conscience, not liberty of view. If we are free with the liberty of Christ, others will be brought into that same liberty, the liberty of realizing the dominance of Jesus Christ. Always keep your life measured by the standards of Jesus. Bow your neck to his yoke alone and to no other yoke whatever, and be careful to see that you never bind a yoke on others that is not placed by Jesus Christ. It takes God a long time to get us out of the way of thinking that unless everyone sees as we do, they must be wrong. That is never God's view. There is only one liberty— the liberty of Jesus at work in our conscience, enabling us to do what is right. Don't get impatient. Remember how God dealt with you, with patience and with gentleness, but never water down the truth of God. Let it have its way, and never apologize for it. Jesus said, Go and make disciples, not make converts to your opinions.